it could be a scary proposition for building owners. Donate a wall and get a free mural of whatever the artist wants. But Jersey City-focused street art group Savage Habit has property owners lining up to turn their facades into canvases. It was definitely a lot of like no's in the beginning of saying, no, I don't understand why you want to paint a mural on my property and they think there's strings attached. But, you know, after doing like a few here and there, people started seeing like that visual portfolio really speaks for itself. Gradsky runs Savage Habit with the help of her artist fiance. It's a project of passion. They both have full-time jobs. But bringing great street art to Jersey City is a priority, so much so that they house artists to facilitate their visits. I want to see it for myself. So that was really the only way of actually seeing it around here without having to hop over into Brooklyn and to Bushwick to see the artists work. And those artists come from all over, Italy, Australia, Spain, Germany. Some she invites, others reach out to her about when they'll be in the States. Jersey City is an ideal location for the group because its rules on street art are different than many other municipalities. In some, murals need to be city approved or they're considered illegal signage. John McInerney helped get an ordinance passed a few years back to allow street art on buildings, pending the owner's approval. He owns Hudson County Art Supply. Sometimes they're actually repairing the walls, and they come in and clean it up, buff it out, fix it, paint it, and then, uh, then the artist can do what they do. McInerney provided the first wall painted by a Savage Habit artist, Dulk, from Spain, who opted to paint a post-Sandy tribute to the state. And now, Jersey City is home to 16 Savage Habit murals, and they've attracted a fair amount of attention. Several works are in this parking lot on Christopher Columbus Drive. Jim Santiago grew up in Jersey City and moved back recently. He's been helping out his brother who works at the lot. You'd be surprised the amount of people stop by just to look at the murals and take pictures and take pictures of themselves with some of the murals. It makes me laugh because some people come in and, you know, they're standing at the, the gate entrance and uh, they're looking in and they want to take pictures and, you know, we say, come on in, come on. That's great news for Gradsky. We definitely have people coming out. From, we have a lot of photographers and other blogs and they're actually trekking out all the way here just to take a photo of the wall. Paint will hit walls again in March and Gradsky has already started lining up artists for the mural painting season to come. In Jersey City, I'm Maddie Orton for NJTV News.